cycles which are all coming to um, an end and a new beginning in 2012. So we're talking about very, very, very big stuff here. And the reassuring thing about this, again, it's provided by the Mayan calendar, which suggests that it's the completion of the evolution of consciousness where we develop our full potential as defined by the intelligent creator which is behind all of this. So you would think that it must be a very, very good time for us because I think we would generally we would feel that to live at the level of our full potential must be a very good thing. In order to get to that point, we need to go through this process. And we need to go through the acceleration of the process over the next few years, which is widely described as being a quantum leap into a whole new state. And part of that will be a complete change of perception of time. Because if, according to the Mayan calendar, something is accelerating to the point where there is nothing after 2012, What's being talked about, really, is where the speed of evolution becomes infinite. And it can easily be described as the speed of time. And if the process is accelerating more and more and more, faster and faster and faster, until 2011 or 2012, at that point, it's as if the exponential curve, the exponential acceleration, becomes a vertical. And at that time, it's as if time becomes eternal and simply now. And there are many people who described time as being something of an illusion anyway and that the only time that counts is now because the only time that we are aware of is now and there's a great mystery in this you know what is the experience going to be but it's likely to be something to do with the idea that we ourselves are eternal beings, that our consciousness is eternal, that we are not physical beings living our three score years and ten, our seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred years, but we are spiritual beings whose existence is eternal and for whom time is not relevant anymore. So, over the next few years, we will very probably experience time moving faster and faster and faster. But we ourselves will still be in now. And increasingly we'll have an awareness that our, our awareness, our existence, our being, is just now. And this will be our... Uh, focal point, our fulcrum around which our physical life revolves the eternal now the now of our being our consciousness, our awareness and really increasingly I feel we need to be aware of this and see it happening and the whole purpose of my uh, series of videos is to show that it is happening by, again, looking at the, not as in 
Carl Callaman's case, the historical record, but looking at the, each day as we go by now, as each each period of time, what's happening in it? What's, what's the evidence that these major changes are taking place? So that at this time now, we're well into a major change in the way that we live in terms of our economy. Uh, here in Britain, and I think the same applies in many other places, we're really beginning to question how the major institutions work because uh, we've been uh, given you know, serious doubts about how our government works uh, in terms of uh, the ex uh, members of parliament expenses. Seems to be a major issue in terms of ethics. Um, so, you know, what really is happening at the level of our big institutions? And all of these things are changing our awareness and, uh, of who we are in relation to all of that. So with that overview, uh, I'm going to leave that there and just encourage you to, to look at the Mayan calendar more. And uh, I'll give you more detail later on in more, in more videos as we go on.